AP, New York, Sam Bankman-Fried got many accolades as he quickly rose to prominence as the CEO of cryptocurrency exchange FTX, the savior of cryptocurrencies, the freshest face in democratic politics, and perhaps the first trillionaire in history. After FTX filed for bankruptcy protection on Friday, leaving his investors and clients feeling misled and many others in the cryptocurrency world fearing the consequences, the opinions about the 30-year-old Bankman-Fried are no longer so complimentary. Charges against Bankman-Fried personally may be civil or criminal. After the bankruptcy filing, Sean Ryan Evans, presenter of the Bitcoin podcast Bankless, tweeted, Sam, what have you done? One venture capital firm wrote down almost $200 million worth of FTX assets. Following FTX's filing for bankruptcy on Friday, the cryptocurrency lender BlockFi halted client withdrawals. This past weekend, withdrawals on the Singapore-based exchange Crypto.com increased for internal reasons, although part of the activity may have been caused by FTX's freight nerves. The Securities and Exchange Commission and the Department of Justice are looking into Bankman Fried and his business. The focus of the inquiries is probably on the likelihood that the company broke U.S. securities legislation by using customer deposits to finance wagers at Bankman Hedge Fried's fund, Alameda Research. It is unclear what effect FTX's bankruptcy will have in the long run, but it is likely to destroy billions of dollars worth of value and increase mistrust against cryptocurrencies at a time when the sector needs a vote of confidence. Corey Clipston, CEO of Swan Bitcoin, has been critical of FTX's business strategy for months. I care because it's retail investors that suffer the most and because too many people still mistakenly link Bitcoin with the scammy crypto industry, he said. While publicly supporting Bitcoin, Clipston has long held a deep skepticism toward other aspects of the cryptocurrency world. Speaking with Bankman-Fried was likely like talking to the world's first trillionaire, according to Sequoia Capital, which made investments in companies including Apple, Cisco, Google, Airbnb, and YouTube. Following one Zoom meeting in 2021, Sequoia made an enthusiastic investment in FTX. I have no idea how I know, I simply do. In a profile of Bankman-Fried for the company, Sequoia Capital's Adam Fisher referred to Bankman-Fried by his well-known online handle, writing, SBF is a winner. The article was taken down from Sequoia's website after it was published in late September. Sequoia wrote down its investments totaling $213 million to zero. In Ontario, Canada, a pension fund reduced its investment to zero as well. But up until last week, Bankman-Fried was regarded as the industry's savior. Bankman-Fried was the one who was most likely to swoop in with a rescue strategy whenever the cryptocurrency business experienced one of its crises. Bankman-Fried stepped in to buy a stake in the company as a show of support when online trading platform Robinhood was in financial trouble earlier this year as a result of the decline in stock and cryptocurrency prices. This summer, Bankman-Fried purchased the assets of the insolvent cryptocurrency company Voyager Digital for $1.4 billion, providing relief to the owners of Voyager accounts whose assets had been frozen since the company's failure. Now, that rescue is in doubt. A few people had criticized Bankman-Fried before to FTX's demise. Bankman-Fried was more vociferous about the need for increased regulation of the cryptocurrency business, even though he mostly ran FTX from his headquarters in the Bahamas outside of U.S. jurisdiction. Many cryptocurrency backers oppose governmental regulation. Now, the demise of FTX might have strengthened the case for more stringent regulation. Changping Zhao, the founder and CEO of Binance, was one of these critics. The two billionaires' conflict erupted on Twitter, where Zhao and Bankman-Fried each had millions of followers. When he announced that Binance would sell its holdings in FTX's crypto token FTT, Zhao helped spark the withdrawals that ultimately brought down FTX. Contributors were reporters Kathy Buswitz in New York and Michael Balsamo in Washington.